Hey guys, it's Game Face here, and welcome back to episode 14 of my Atletico Madrid career mode. Now, today, it is going to be the last episode of the career mode. There's only four games left three league games and the Champions League final. Now, that is a huge game, obviously. Uh, that is the last game of the series. Now, the reason why I'm going to end it after one series is because I think it's probably been a little bit too easy. I don't want to have um, two really easy career modes to do. I know Man United's not really easy because you've obviously got to build the team still, but um, this one has just been a little bit too easy, I feel. So um, I am going to move on from it. I'm going to go for a harder team. It was suggested. The fact that I changed to a bit of a trickier team, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with Bolton. Okay, seems like a strange one, I know, but Bolton and Man United as my career modes. Man United's going to be my main one, as you guys probably know by now, the fact that it has um, a lot more support. I mean, obviously, it's probably going to get more support, it's a bigger club, and you guys absolutely smashed the like button for that last episode, episode 2, and thank you so much for that. But we are going to get on with this episode as well, uh, but I just thought to let you know it's Bolton replacing this one. I'm going to have Heskey, and I'm going to make some really good signings, get them promoted, and it should be really good. Anyway, on to this episode, the final one. We've got a game against Barcelona. This is the side I'm going to be playing for the game. We are going to play it. Let's see how we get on. It is an important match. I know that they are 10 points behind us with uh, one game that they've played more than us. So we are pretty much going to, I think, beat Barcelona here. They can't overtake us. Uh, but it's still an important match. It's still a big club. And uh, we do need to try and get the win because Real Madrid are only three points behind us with three games left. Apologies if this is only a short episode. I've only got four games. Um, probably I'll, I'll only really be playing two of the games, I'd imagine. So hopefully I've got plenty of clips for you, though, from the games. Uh, and that is something I'm really after in this episode. Sometimes I just can't get any clips. Um, and uh, we really do need to have plenty of shots in this game. Hopefully we get on well. And, um, yeah, let's see what sort of team Barcelona I've got out. It looks like Suarez is playing, I think, from what we've seen. Other than that, I can't quite tell because obviously the bottom's not appeared yet. It looks like Pedro started and I can't see Neymar anywhere. Maybe it's Messi. Yeah, it's Messi, Suarez and Pedro, so no Neymar in the team. Busquets is still going through. Managed to get in a foot and it was just enough to get him off balance there and win us the ball back. Oh my god. Messi is, for first of all, beating us to a header. Beating our centre-backs to a header and it's even flown in the top corner. I thought it was going wide. How has he managed that? He's beating the keeper, he's beating our centre-backs, and we are losing 1-0. We need Griezmann to get some goals. I want him to get the golden boot at the moment. He's two goals behind Messi, who is top on 21. Vieto's gone straight through, though, and it's saved. We probably should have done better there. Griezmann looking to get a shot away on his left foot, and it was kind of uh, very weak, actually, that one in the end. That is it for the first half. I was after a really entertaining first half. And it was quite the opposite, to be honest. We are still losing 1-0. Um, but yeah, it's not been a very good half for us. Not really had any chances. It's been a real disappointment. I don't think we've got anyone strong enough up front. So we're going to have to bring on Jackson Martinez, I think. Uh, bring him on and move Griezmann in behind him. We have just been really weak. I'd say that's probably the word I'd use to describe us. Uh, we need to try and toughen us up a little bit. And uh, we are just going to go into the second half with just that one change for now. Messi's going still, and oof, I wasn't too sure they would give a penalty there. I mean, it wasn't supposed to be one, but uh, it was one of those ones where they sometimes give them. Koke finding Jackson Martinez. This is one of our better chances of the game, believe it or not. Still going, Jackson. Oh, okay. What the hell was that? Here we go. He's gone through. Jackson Martinez must have been pushed. Is it a penalty? Oh, it's offside. Come on, ref. Did you not see that? It's all offside, no, no, a lot of rubbish, not having it. Alright, it was a mile offside, whatever. Real Madrid might go above us if we don't get at least a point here. We need to make another change, the next change is going to be Paulson. He's going to come on, Griezmann off. Big risk taking Griezmann off, but we've got to do it now. We've really got to try and push to win the game. Uh, I want, in fact, no, I'm not going to take Griezmann off. I'm going to keep him on, but we're going to change the formation. We're going to go to three at the back. This is never usually a good idea, but... We're going to go with it. Let's try and find... That's the formation I want. 3-4-3. Three, three. Never played this one ever. Um, but why not? Let's give it a go. And we're going to take... I think Churran off. Uh, we'll go with that. So we'll put Griezmann back on in that position there. Jackson Martinez. I think... Yeah, we'll play him there. And Thiago Gustavo there. Haidara probably shouldn't be there. But we'll swap him and Koke round. And we'll go with Ayora playing as a centre-back. He can play as a centre-back, as you can see there. So... 
it works, kind of. Um, yeah, we'll just go with that, I think. I'm pretty happy with it. This could be really risky against Barcelona, who are already playing three up front themselves. Having three centre-backs against those three um, attackers is probably not a good idea, but we've kind of just got to do it now. And they've just brought Neymar on. Brilliant. What a sub to have on the bench. Go on, here we go. Thiago's running through. We've got another attacking player. And PK clears it easily. That's it, Gustavo. That is it. Griezmann! Oh, what are you doing? What was that? What was that? Why are you heading it there? I mean, why are you heading it at all? Oh, here's Neymar. Full of energy. Danny Alves is here. Suarez, block my coke. Get it out. This is brilliant. Here we go. Counter-attack is on. Let's get attacking. We'll go ultra-attacking, actually. Go on, Jackson. Make the run. Oh, no. Gets blocked by PK. That was a brilliant chance. Yes, go. Go, go, go. Stop them from putting it down in that corner. Win it back. This must be ours. Okay, let's go, go, go. All out attack. Jackson Martinez. He's got a little bit of support, but it's behind him. PK's on good form. That's not... Okay. What was that? That's not a pass. Just going straight to PK, and the attack breaks down. Brilliant news. Go on. This is our chance. This is our chance. Griezmann. Oh, you would hit the post. Oh, my God. You would hit the post. How do you hit the post? Well, of course, it's offside, because it's rebounded onto Jackson Martinez. This is rubbish. What was that? Now the pressure is well and truly on for the final two games of the season. Uh, we got 38% possession. Great. And Real Madrid won, which makes it even better. We are still top, though. Um, why are we still two points ahead? No idea. Absolutely no idea. When I thought we were like three points ahead before, and then Real Madrid won and we lost. No idea why we're still two points ahead, but I won't complain. Uh, the board aren't happy. Fair enough. I'm not either, to be honest, about that last game. Still got the game against Villarreal coming up, though, and we are just going to put out a very similar team, I think, really. Yeah, two points behind us. We do need to win this game quite badly. We are going to change the team around a little bit, and I'll show you what side I'm going to put out. Okay, since we've got quite a few tired players, my attack has changed quite a bit, especially my wide players, Werner and uh, Paulson coming into the side. Vieto stays, into the team, uh, stays in the team, rather, and uh, Jackson Martinez in front of him. That means Griezmann's dropped. Benger and Sol start in the midfield, and Balanta and Godin come back into the team. So does Alba as well. That is the team. Let's get on with the game. We are going to submit... It's a risky one away, but we've surely got a better team than Villarreal um, in order to beat them. We must do. Must. Let's see how we get on. To be honest with you, I'd probably take a draw here. A draw, and then Real Madrid will probably win, so it'll be on the exact same points, and it'll go down to the final game. We're 1-0 up, but so are Real Madrid. We've also had an injury. Jackson Martinez one minute in, which, as you probably saw... We are both winning 1-0. No, we're not. We're drawing one all. Moreno's gone and scored. Of course he has. Into the second half. Werner makes it 2-1. Okay, they are down to 10 men. We've got to win this game, surely. They're down to 10 men. And we're winning 2-1. Real Madrid are winning 3-0. Let's ignore that score, though. And we win the game 2-1. Real Madrid won 3-0. Marcelo, Ronaldo and Aguero scored. Uh, for us, Godin and I think it was Werner got the second. Whew, we're still two points ahead. And... We only really need a point from this game. Jackson Martinez is out for three days. And um, Ayora is suspended as well. So not too good for the final game of the season. The goal difference is so close. I didn't realise it was that close. Oh my god. Why does it always go down to the final game of the season? That always seems to happen with me on this career mode anyway. Whenever I do a career mode off camera, I'm always winning by like 10-15 points. Whenever I'm on camera, it seems like it's really close. Here we go, the final game of the season. This is the team. This is the team that could win me the whole league. This is the team that could make sure that we've beaten Barcelona and Real Madrid to the league. Okay, this is the time where we can actually win something. Okay? Granada away. Let's see how we get on. This is a very good team I put out. It's probably one of my best teams I can put out. Other than Bellerin and Vieto, but... They've got a red card eight minutes in. That has helped as Real Madrid are winning 1-0. So are we now with Koke's goal. Come on, let's do something here. Let's thrash them. Real Madrid winning 2-0. It's now 1-all, of course it is. We always concede away. Come on, surely. We're away, for God's sake, against a team with uh, 10 men. No, this can't actually be happening. Oh, my God, Vieto. Oh, my God. 2-1. 
we'd won the game and we've won the league. Wow, what an end to a season. 84th minute, we've won the league. How has that happened? Brilliant stuff. Messi got top goal scorer, sadly, but we won the league. 13.6 million added onto the budget. That is pretty decent. This is the team I'm going to be using for the Champions Cup final against, I think it's Bayern Munich. I might be wrong, but anyway, this is the side I've gone with. Bellerin does start. I just fancy having a bit more pace there, uh, even though Ayora is obviously a very fast player. Anyway, and uh, yeah, that is the team. It's not against Bayern Munich. I don't know why I thought that. Was that the game I played with Juventus or something like that? Anyway, we've got PSG in the Champions League final. We're going to play the match, obviously. It's a huge, huge game. We've not won it yet on any of the series that I've done on FIFA 15. So we need to win it. This is the big final. We have to beat PSG here. Come on. Let's win this game. Final one of the season. And of the series as well. No pressure. Here we go. Zlatan is playing. Of course he is. Levetsi starts also as well. Motta's here. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting game. They've already started off so well. Look at the way they're passing. We've really just got to get a hold of this game as soon as possible. Okay, we are getting completely dominated in this game. We're 17 minutes in, and already I want to make a change, and I am going to make a change. Now, my centre backs, you might have noticed, five foot eleven, six foot one, not particularly uh, tall, not tall, um, but we do have Kurt Zuma on the bench. He's six foot three. That is more like my sort of centre back in this game against Latan and people like that. So I was tempted to take off some like Gustavo and go like five at the back, something like that. And I might, I am tempted to do that, but I'm going to take up Balanta instead. Now, it's a bit of a shame to do that, because obviously he's a left-footed player, so he's, he's in the left side of defence for a reason. But Kurt Zuma is a more tactical change, and one that I think will be more beneficial for the team. Let's hope we don't concede before he gets on the pitch, though. This is really poor. Like, I've not played this bad in a while. Even against Barcelona, we could get out of our own half. On the overlap, Hector Bellerin with the cross. Jackson Martinez, oh, goes so close, and I think that's our way in, um, into the PSG half is through the um, wide areas, to be honest, and putting crosses in, that's going to be the only way we can win this game. We need to change the instructions, oh no, sorry, the tactics, um, we're going to go counter-attack, I wish you could select multiple ones, because I want counter-attack, I want high pressure, I want long ball, and I want possession, but you can't do that, so we're going to have to try counter-attack, because... Hopefully that means that when we do have the ball, people will start running forward, and that's just not what they're doing at the moment. Go on, Churan with the cross, and oh, doesn't find its way to Jackson Martinez, sadly. We've still got it though, Thiago. Oh, that was a good chance, and a shame about the shot, really. It wasn't on target. If it was, that could have caused um, PSG's defence and keeper some issues there. That's it for the first half. It is still nil-nil somehow. You would have thought there would have been a goal with the amount of chances that have been created. Mainly by PSG, but we have had one or two later on. And possession surprisingly even. I don't know how that's happened. But we do need to start getting some shots on target. And uh, yeah, we are going to keep the team exactly the same. Go on, Griezmann. Straight from kickoff. Pass David Louise. Griezmann, 1-0. That's what we needed. 1 minute and 30 odd seconds into the first, sorry, the second half. We've managed to make it 1-0. Wow. That was a very important goal. And one I did not expect to be scoring like this. Oof. No way. No way. How has Zlatan got that in? Oh my god. Look at the possession. There's a reason why we've got more possession than them. I've been passing the ball around really well for honestly about 25 minutes of the second half. I've controlled the ball. I've been in their half. I've played really well. And then they would go and score, don't they? They go and score. Of course they do. One all. The game is now back on for the last 12 minutes now. This could be a really interesting end to the match. Why are you passing the ball there? That's not where I wanted it. Come on, big Jackson. Here we go. Jackson Martinez still running through. Nearly got tripped up. Jackson Martinez. Oh, my God. David Luiz is supposedly stronger than him. Jordi Alba finds Koke. This is more like it. Koke's running through. Oh, my God. Just let me pass the ball. 90th minute and out. Thiago to take. Let's have a good cross, please. No, what was that? That is it. Into, I think it'll be extra time. Oh, my God. We could have won that game. We really could have. But we can still win the match. Oh, no. They've got a 
great free kick opportunity. They decide to take it quick. And they've still got it in our half. They've got all the full backs up. Everybody is up at the moment. We really need to defend this one well. We have done. Let's counter attack. Oh, see, that's just what happens. No way. Oh, thank God for that. He's offside. Okay, we're going to make some changes to freshen up this team a little bit. I'm going to have to be careful who I'm taking off because I'm kind of assuming it's going to go into penalties a little bit. So I'm going to try and bring on some better penalty takers, one of which is Vieto. And I think other players would be quite good at penalties. I'm assuming he will be. No, he's not. Banger isn't, actually. Um, we are struggling for penalty takers a little bit in this team. That is not good at all. Okay, so... We're going to bring on, I think, Werner and take off Koke, who's probably really good at penalties. Uh, in fact, no, he's not. He's rubbish. So let's take him off. Brilliant news. Let's take all the bad penalty takers off and keep the best ones on. So who else do we have? God, we really don't have many good penalty takers. I don't know why I'm thinking about it so early, penalties, but we do need to make sure we have some good penalty takers on the pitch. And I think we'll just go with that, to be honest with you. Werner and Vieto will keep the same centre mids. It's a risk, but I'm going to take it, and hopefully it pays off. But that is it for the first half of extra time. It's still one all. We do need to just get these subs on now and get them performing well, uh, because we could do with the goal. It's not ideal going to penalties. I mean, I'm probably more chance of winning in penalties, if I'm totally honest with you. I am pretty decent at penalties usually, so I'd rather it go into that, but I'm not going to play defensive. Go on, Jackson Martinez. This could be a big chance. Can he get past Thiago Silva? He has done. Still going. Jackson Martinez saved. Of course it's saved. Okay, this is... Yeah, this is unlucky. Come on, Lucas. No, Lovetsy's still going. Ball gets put in. Zlatan misses it. Still Zlatan. Save by a black. Go on. This is the chance. Come on. Run, Jackson Martinez. Don't you dare pull up. Jackson Martinez. Yes, 2-1. Get in. 119th minute. That's the goal I was after. That is the counter-attacking play we were after. Whew, we've got the goal. That could be the winner. That could be the winner. And even if we concede now, we've still got penalties. Come on, that is a brilliant end to the game. We've got ourselves a little bit of luck on the counter-attack. And uh, Thiago's injured. That is not good when you uh, really need to defend. This should be a very interesting last minute. Go on, get the ball up into our half at least. Try and beat us. Come on, PSG. There's only two minutes added on. They don't have very long to do this. And they're just passing around the back like we're uh, losing or something. Oh, they're going forward here. I shouldn't have asked for that. Lucas. And he's kind of wasting a little bit of time. Don't know whether he knows what the score is. We've won the Champions League. That is it. Finally, we've won in extra time. Whew, we have won. Finally, about time, we've beaten PSG 2-1, and we are champions of Europe. Brilliant news. About your performance, want to reach out to you and inform you that despite the concern around the performance of the football club, you shall continue to be at the helm of the club for the foreseeable future. Player contracts expiring, yep, blah 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 and we got just under 12 million for winning the Champions Cup. Now then, I believe this is going to be the end of the series here. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Um, it started off really well in terms of support. I'm not criticising like the support or anything like that because it was really good. Um, but then I just feel like you know the Man United one should hopefully be like my leading career mode that should go on for quite a while. And I feel like uh, we need to have a bit more of a challenge in terms of which team I pick. So I think I want to go for Bolton again. Let me know your suggestions and your thoughts on Bolton in the comments. Um, whether you think that'll be a good idea or not. Remember, we should see Heskey, which should be quite good. Um, so I'd like to do a Bolton one, but again, I'm open to suggestions. I'd rather them be in the championship, um, but if you do have any other suggestions, then let me know in the comments. And to kind of finish off this series, I don't think we are going to do the Italy stuff. Uh, I never really enjoyed playing with Italy, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know why I joined them. It was a bit of a shame. I could have joined somebody else. Uh, but anyway, we do have to look at the squad report. It's kind of something I just do on every career mode. Let's see how much they've grown in one season. I know it's only been a season. I generally do it for at least two. Uh, but this season I decided, or this series I should say, I decided uh, to just do it for one year. Um, but yeah, this is the team I've got and how much they've grown. So if you do feel like pausing the video at any point to look at specific players, by all means do. 
So a Bellerin went up four, she just saw a minute ago. Balanta up three, Alba up two, Tiago down one sadly, Gustavo up two, Chorin up two, Griezmann up one, Koke up one, Jackson Martinez up one, Scuff up three, despite me not playing him that much. Werner up two, uh, Sol stayed the same sadly, uh, Vieto went up one. Let's just actually go back to Sol a minute. He might be joining me on my Man United career mode. He was suggested. I'd like to use him more. He looks like a very talented player. So he could still be joining me on the Man United career mode. Anyway, on with the rest of the players. Kurt Zuma's gone up one. Ayora's stayed at the exact same for some reason. Benga up one. Um, some random goalkeeper I've gone that I've got has gone up one. And um, the centre-back as well I've never heard of up zero. He's not gone up at all somehow. It's as if I've not even played him. Uh, anyway, moving on, Lucas Hernandez has gone up three. That's really good news. Uh, Gimenez hasn't gone up somehow, and Paulson up three. I'm up two, Haidara up one. Coutinho hasn't gone up, which is a shame. He's been injured a little bit as well. Kenny up two, Hector up one. Uh, Silvio up two, he's on loan along with Hector. Uh, Leo Baptista, he is up one. And we've also got um, Velaquez, I don't know how you pronounce his name, up one. And um, we've also got a few other players that have gone up as well. So that is good news. The Lonies went well. It seems like they've grown plenty, uh, which is good stuff. So that is the end of the series. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support throughout the series as well. It's been really appreciated. I am going to move to a different club, like I said. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. If you did enjoy this episode, then please go hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe if you are new or you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.